Hello. Hello. Cool. Obviously, uh, last time out, very, very impressive, violent victory. Uh, I guess how, how big was that for you to, to pick up a win like that? Um, it was, yeah, it was big. It, it felt good to get a victory for sure. Do you ever, I mean, you had, you had a couple setbacks, but I know you believe in yourself, but does doubt ever start to creep in a little bit? Like, you know, what's going on? Why am I not getting the results? Um, so, I'm sure you've interviewed thousands of fighters, and they'd probably all say the same thing. There's no, there's no running from things like small doubts and stuff. It just happens. It's a part of competition. It's a part of wanting to be the best. So the answer is yes, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's just a part of the game, you know? No question. Uh, after that big win, last time out, six months, I guess, have gone by. Was that by design? Was that good? I mean, did you need some time away or, or want some time away? Or is it just the way the schedule worked out? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of always like that. All of my fights are usually split, you know, about six months apart. Um, it's pretty normal. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty normal. Let's say, is that a good routine for you? I mean, do you wish they'd book you faster or do you kind of enjoy being away from the game a little bit? Um, I'm going to say that I enjoy it because I'm used to it. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, what has been the focus in the time since, man? I mean, has, has there been a particular aspect of your game or, or maybe even your life outside that you've really been focused on in this past six months? Um, yeah, I think overall the focus has just been to like, to be a better man, you know, like whatever that means to me and whatever, you know, it, it's just be a better man. Just if that means work harder, if it means treat people differently, if it means, you know, save your money, it just everything has just been, my focus is just and the question that I ask myself is just, how can I be a better man through and through? And it transfers over to training, it transfers over to you know, my romantic life, my family life, everything. So that's just overall uh, been my focus. That's awesome. Was there something that happened that, that made you come to that realization that you need to ask, or is it just maturing and, and growing in life? I think it has a lot to do with maturing. Um, realizing just where I'm at right now, um, fighting in the UFC, um, what type of what type of legacy or like impact I want to make? How do I want to be perceived? Um, how do I want to handle things like answering media questions and and dealing with you know just everything that comes with life? You know. Um, yeah, it's just it's a it's a maturing thing. I think that um, yeah, I'm just ready to just be better all around in life. So I guess maybe just realizing. I mean, the sport. It's funny. Like, I mean, your job is to get and fight, but there's so much more to it than that, right? Is that just kind of a realization that just this training every day to get in a cage fight? That's a very little minuscule part of life. Yeah, I think the fighting part is is what we do. Right, we go and we train a lot of the people who are fighters that you know, like we we chose to to step into this and to do this. But you know, all of the other stuff maybe for some, but the other stuff to me is is a bit foreign. You know, I have something that, you know, I would like to practice getting used to and and embracing. Right, because it's not like every day I'm going to the gym and sitting in front of a table of people answering questions. Um, and there's something that I that I just spoke to Paul Felder about um, and and the the broadcast crew. They they mentioned that I take time to think about what I'm going to say, and it's true because what I say here goes on the record, and I want to make sure that what I say here is true. And if I go back or if somebody says something to me about what I said, that it's like I, it was honest. Does that make sense? Okay. So, like, yeah, a lot of this 
a lot of the, yeah i don't know i'm just ranting now but hopefully that answers your question yeah. it absolutely does fighting back in the united states i'm curious is it is it nice like comfortable or do you kind of part of me thinks that you like the adventure maybe of going elsewhere and, and, and fighting elsewhere mm, i've never fought else i mean yeah, I've, I've fought elsewhere but um i enjoy it i miss thailand a lot you know that that place really uh made a huge impact on my life and there's a bunch of people there that I love and care about, like family. Um, and just the people and the culture, I, I miss it. But um, I also enjoy being home. I enjoy being able to see you know, my mother and my family and, and things like that. So uh, I try not to get too caught up in you know, what I don't have and you know, what's not right here. Question. You got this matchup with Carl. Just curious, kind of what you think about him as, as an athlete, as a fighter, what you see in his game? Mm, I prefer not to answer that question. Fair enough. On paper, it seems like it's going to be a pretty explosive matchup. Do, do, you, do you at least believe that your styles coming together will probably create for a, uh, a very action-packed fight? Yeah, I can't answer that one. And I think, I think that the fans will be pleased. Awesome. Last thing for me, I guess, what's the most important thing for you on Saturday? You know, is it registering another victory and getting your hand raised, or is it more just like going out there and performing in a certain way and knowing that you, you did something that you wanted to do or, or live to your fullest? I mean, what's most important for you? Victory. Hey, Khalil. Hey. Um, so you, uh, you, you, you acted in your first movie. Um, just kind of tell us about that, and did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, so I acted in my first movie uh, just a few months ago. Um, it's set to release this like couple months. Um, it was awesome. I I had just got a phone call from an acquaintance, actually a, a direct message from an acquaintance who ran into some directors at a bar and they were making an MMA movie, and somehow my name got brought up in the conversation. Um, then I got the message, uh, exchanged numbers, and they're like, hey, we'd love for you to audition for this. So I did it, and right after the audition, they're like, we're not even gonna waste time. We want you to have the part. And so um, I'd never acted or anything in my life, never even, really knew it was something that you know like I wanted to do but um, it was really enjoyable and one of the coolest things is that um, I got to do it alongside of some of MMA's biggest names Anderson Silva, Rampage Jackson, Czech Congo, Higa Machado um, I mean there's there's so many of us in the movie and it's um, it's going to be really exciting to to see it on the big screen and 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 just to see i'd say yeah to see myself doing something you know besides fighting on you know on a big screen it's just it's it's a really cool uh it's a really cool thing to think about that's going to happen yeah did you enjoy like the acting process and it was so cool <laughs> it was it was amazing um yeah just being on set um studying lines, you know, in my trailer, just thinking like, okay, you know, I got to get into character. I've got to, you know, remember all of these, all, all of these lines and, and just the people in the atmosphere of, of the set, the crew was amazing. So yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was really cool. Do you, do you see yourself acting again? Uh, yeah, I would love to. I would definitely love to. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, and then on, on another one of your posts, you said that you moved to, to, to uh, New York City. Do you live there now? So I spend a good like half and half. Um, I do have a, a place here in Vegas. And when it's time to train, then, you know, I have all of my belongings in my car and stuff here. Um, but when I'm not training, then, yeah, I live in New York. So it's 50-50. Yeah. What made the move to New York? Um, so my girlfriend was living there um already and then we were locked down together in thailand um because we were both in thailand at the same time so when we decided to come back to america um 
we just like she's like hey i still want to live in new york and i'm like hey i still want to live in vegas so we just made it work both ways to where we uh we share homes in both places so you've lived in california vegas thailand now new york um is there like a favorite place you've lived so far well, thailand by far thailand. <laughs> forever yeah um, and then finally for me, um, on one of your posts, you said that uh, last year that you met a bunch of people from all, all sorts of backgrounds, uh, graffiti, hip hop, television, mixed martial arts, radio. Who was the coolest person that you met last year? Hmm. That made you kind of like fanboy out. Wow. Wow. That's really hard because I can't just say one. I can't. I'd say it's like it's a mixture of, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Ebro Darden. Uh, he's like a radio host and, and DJ out of New York City and has his like own Apple Music TV show. So like Ebro, Ebro Darden, Laura Stiles, and Paul Rosenberg, they all, you know, they all run the same um, radio station. Um, so meeting them was awesome. And then uh, one of the guys from an old graffiti crew that I really used to enjoy when I was a kid called Iraq, uh, a guy named Mike, Mike Iraq. And uh, we just hit it off and had a really cool friendship from, you know, from the initial meeting. So I'd say like a mixture of those, yeah. And Tretch from Naughty by Nature, like, yeah. Yeah, those are badass people. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. Cool.